Hello and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Crypto Paradigm, uh, also known as Dime on Twitter. Been an options trader for a little over a year, and I've been subbed to Cheddarflow uh, since they fired up their service about mm, a year and a few months ago. I wanted to take a minute and go over how I spend my trading days using Cheddarflow. Uh, some days I'm very active, following what the flow is showing me, and doing uh, very short term scalps. And sometimes I usually focus, or most of the time I focus on fundamental swings and I'll hold a position for multiple days or weeks. Uh, I wanted to just take some time to like go through the interface and show you guys how I use Cheddarflow on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, any trades I take need to line up with my own analysis and fundamental analysis. And just a disclaimer, none of what I'm going to be putting in here is financial advice and you should not take it as so. Uh, I am not a financial advisor. So when the trading day starts, it's hard to see it now because we are towards the end of the day here. Once the trading day starts, I tend to review what is coming in at the very open of the day and check out um, what are people urgent to get into. Um, this can sometimes set the entire uh, framing of the day and what is and is not going to go off. Um, but as the day develops and you start playing with your filters, you'll see many other positions come in. I just like to be awake and aware of uh, where the money is instantly flowing at open. Um, it's always been a very useful uh, thing for me to do. I typically don't take trades until the first 30 minutes have passed and we've gotten through the initial gaps up and refilling the gap. That's my personal style. Um, but I tend to... Once the day starts to progress, uh, I do tend to spend a lot of times using the opening orders filter. Uh, what this does is it filters out any and all orders that are coming in uh, with volume that eclipses the open interest. This typically means it's someone that is opening a position. Um, this is probably the most powerful filter on Cheddarflow, in my humble opinion, uh, because it usually uh, tends to filter out uh, some of the noise that you'll see on uh, the the raw flow. Um, the raw flow is very, very cool, but until you learn to read it, no, unless you're very good at technical analysis, 90% of this is, is noise. It's people either, you don't know why people are taking these plays. These SPY puts could be someone actually thinking that it's going to pull back tomorrow, or it could be someone writing these positions. Uh, or it could be someone uh, actively hedging a long position. You, you don't know why these tickers are coming in. Um, what you want to look for is the amount of premium that comes in. Are they opening orders? Is there a lot of open interest on that particular strike? Um, these are all points that you want to pay, pay attention to. And so most of my day is spent flipping between the raw flow and the opening orders because that's how I roll. Um, it's been very useful to me once I started using the opening orders pretty much exclusively. I still do look at the raw flow because many times you won't see the kind of uh, the, these repeat call flow. When it's highlighted yellow like this, this means it's a repeat call flow. And it means that someone may or, may, or the horde, as I'll call them, the trading horde, uh, is convening on a particular stock. Um, they're often a very useful tool uh, just to keep an eye on, hence the yellow uh, coloring. Another thing I do like to pay attention to, this is more on the premium side. This is uh, one of Cheddarflow's upgraded and new features. Um, the power alerts uh, just give you a, ge a general strength indication of how active a particular ticker is. Um, you can click these and see, oh, Disney is seeing a lot of calls. We should probably grab some of this or look at it, look at the chart at least. Um, Walmart, I mean, you can see that there is use in here. Um, I believe Walmart went up today, so, but, so I'm not sure how well these panned out. Um, but it is overall very useful. Um, I do have a watch list as well, another premium feature. Um, recently I've been watching uh, volatility at FCX, so you can put in whatever these you, that you want, but they'll give you desktop notifications uh, if, some, if, a t if a ticker that you're watching has activity, and that has come in handy at one point or another. Very useful. Uh, another recent uh, tool that Cheddarflow has added is the dark pool prints, which they're, it's hard to explain, but 
they're very you they're, they're mostly not useful until they are extremely useful. Most tickers are not going to have any kind of activity. Walmart did in this case, and the call flow was backing up a $26 million buy. We assume it's a buy because of the call flow. There's no way to know uh, with dark pools, but this obviously could have been a very useful trade if the asset went up, and it looks like it did from the open, it went up a dollar, so someone knew something and the option flow followed. Um, I do want to take a look at a couple trades uh, that I took using Cheddar Flow, or rather using Confluence that I gained from Cheddar Flow. Um, so let's go back to when I took these trades. So this is on my Trading View account. Uh, feel free to follow me if you want to. Um, I was very bullish on SPY uh, all the way from here. Um, and as you can see, my idea played out very nicely. I'm very happy with this particular trade. Um, once we started getting into this region here, where SPY was just going absolutely vertical with no stop, um, we were approaching my target. My target was approximately 360. It ended up being about 350. Oh, there's the bell. And uh, the target ended up being about 356-ish area. I, I wanted it to go to 360, but my move was pretty clear. And I started scaling out here. Um, but once we entered this region, something started to happen within uh, option land. And I got an amazing little slideshow. I'm sorry I can't zoom in on this. It's a screenshot. Um, but effectively, what I saw here was that as SPY started to keep going up, we saw all of these large million-dollar orders coming in for puts. And this is not a good something you want to see as SPY is rocketing upwards. Um, we saw the same thing on the queues. Um, you can see here that as we went up, more and more million dollar puts came in. Um, you never see this on Cheddarfoot very often. Um, you have to, you, you'll see an occasional million dollar, two million uh, put show up, and that's fine and dandy. But not only were these all opening orders indicating to me that this was approaching a market or at least a local top for the market. Um, these were all opening orders, counter trend, and they kept showing up consistently on a daily basis. And as you can see, anyone that bought puts in this region uh, was very happy in the coming weeks as we had a very, the worst sell off since uh, June. So that ended up being very useful. I didn't take the QQQ puts, but I saw the same pattern there indicating a top was coming and it matched with my own technical analysis. And um, I didn't take those, I just stuck to SPY and I was very happy with the results as we can all see from the chart, we went straight down. Um, the other trade that I took recently, this is uh, VXX um, volatility. Uh, volatility was, uh, it's hard to time volatility because the the reasons that VIX pumps are a little bit more complex than most stocks, but we did have a nice three-day bullish divergence showing up. Um, I got long in down in here uh, right before the breakout. I think we went up to about 30 right here, and I got out near the top and called it quits. But combined with the chart, we also began to see UVXY, which is another volatility instrument. Let me zoom that in for you guys. UVXY started to see regular repeat option flow on a regular, regular basis. Combined with the VXX option flow that we started seeing, um, I decided to get, I believe, what, they're not on here. I got the 11, 20, 30 strikes. Um, I thought VXX was going to go a little bit higher into the election. That didn't pan out, but I still made a very nice profit and got out nicely. Um, these were also, if I recall correctly, opening orders on both of them, uh, indicating that uh, these were brand new positions uh, that were being opened. So going back to Cheddar Flow, the flow that you see on here is going to be incredibly useful, but what you need to also recognize that 90% of what you're seeing on here is noise. Um, again, don't blindly take trades that you see here on Cheddar Flow because some of them may uh, be people hedging their bets, some of them may be people writing 
these particular contracts, there's really no way to know, and you have to uh, take a vested interest in your own technical analysis. Um, Cheddarflow can print money for you, but you need to know what you're doing and you need to understand exactly what you're looking for uh, before you take trades on here. And I, I do hope that this gives you guys like a little bit more information on how Cheddarflow works and how you can make use of it. Um, I didn't really cover any of the other filters that we see here, but many of these are incredibly useful. Um, unusual orders and opening orders together can often produce spectacular results. Being able to find a combination of filters that works for you and what your uh, trading goals work is very possible. And of course, Cheddarflow is always adding new features. Um, if you're new to options, I uh, highly recommend using Cheddarflow. Even if you don't trade options, it's very useful for getting a gauge on the market and figuring out what the next steps are. Um, I will leave it up to you, but obviously uh, be careful when trading options. And uh, I do hope that you all have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to take a look. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm pretty friendly and open. If you want to send me a message or at me on Twitter. Otherwise, have a good afternoon, sirs.